Hello YouTube, it's Rosama, and here I'm actually doing my first tutorial video. So, uh, just a disclaimer, I am not setting kind of like a standard for, you know, these kind of tutorials. This is actually just how I conduct business on my own accord. So, uh, these, you know, this little water slide video uh, tutorial is just how I do my water slides. Now this may vary from person to person, people have different techniques, different styles, uh, but this is pretty much how I've been doing it since I started you know, applying water slides to my kits. Uh, so definitely take this, uh, I would say with a grain of salt, and maybe just apply your own type of techniques to this and don't accept this as 100% definitive fact. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and show y'all what my process is. So let me go down the list of what you're going to need for applying decals. The first thing you're going to need is going to be a cutting mat of some type or some kind of you know hard rubber or foam that can absorb the cuts of the uh, the knife because you don't really want to cut on something that's extremely hard like you know something like steel or glass because you don't want to dull out your knife. Uh, you pretty much want to cut into something uh, when cutting for the decals. Next thing obviously is going to be your decals, you know, however you want. Now I do have these, this is for the Megami device, uh, Kayada or Kayade. And I, you know, I'm just doing this because I haven't done it, you know, yet on this kit. I really want to get this kit pretty much completed. Uh, but yeah, this is the ones I'm going to use. And normally, sometimes it might differ, but normally you can tell how, you know, if this is going to be a water slide sheet by the color so the color is more of a blue uh, whereas a sticker sheet is going to be more green so that's just some definitive ways on how you can tell what is going to be a water slide and what will not but it does vary from company to company or just you know maybe some time periods where bandai was pushing out uh, water slides of a different background color but from to my knowledge i'm pretty sure most if not all are going to be this blue now also this is a water slide decal sheet uh, that is mostly just like caution signs and warning labels. This is something that you don't need instructions for. This is kind of more of your own idea and you can definitely buy this separately, but for something like this, this is very particular on where you're gonna apply these types of uh, decals. So it's more ideal to have some kind of reference sheet, much like a illustration art or the in actual instructions. Uh, but for something like this, you can definitely buy it, you know, on your own, and then apply these how you wish uh, on the kit. You know, definitely if you already have experience uh, with uh, applying stickers or you know the dry transfers or even water slides, uh, you should have a basic understanding of where you want to place a lot of these type of warning uh, decals. But uh, we're not going to be dealing with this. We're going to deal with something that actually has instructions. And next you're going to want a little bowl of any type. I mean it could be a normal bowl but I usually carry these little metal trays and I put warm water in there. You don't want it to be extremely hot and I really don't recommend cold water. I, I kind of just more or less keep mine very warm uh, so that way it, you know the adhesive can uh, loosen up from the actual sheet and shouldn't be any kind of issue but if it's extremely hot I mean you can run the risk of uh, ruin the, ruining the adhesive on the paper. And next you're going to want a hobby knife of any type a pair of tweezers, some cotton swabs, a little piece of cloth just so that way you can wipe down the part if it does have any kind of particles or something on there. Now we do have Mr. Mark Setter. Uh, what this is is a sort of adhesive that allows you to adhere the decal to the plastic just much better than what you would uh, with the top coat in my opinion. But I usually use this uh, with the uh, top coat as well. Now you can also use Mr. Softener for more of like the rounded edges as well as uh, bringing the decal into more crevices or like inside panel lines. Uh, I don't have any softener with me at the moment so I can't really give you a great example of that. Uh, but for the Mr. Setter I just really like this because sometimes I might not do a top coat or I might not be doing a top coat at the moment so I can use this uh, just you know in place of the top coat or until I go ahead and apply that top coat. Okay so the first decal I'm actually going to take out is going to be number one and we're going to apply it onto this little piece right here. Uh, so the way you want to do this, um, I know some decals are going to be very different especially if you buy from like third party uh, but since this is you know first party Kotobukiya they are generally really good when it comes to their water slides. So you're just going to want to cut around 
uh, the decal and I, I recommend not including the little numbers uh, so if you see like it has number one right there don't include that because that is also uh, going to you know basically come apart off of the sheet itself and you're now gonna have a floating number one in your little bowl and you know you just don't want more things to deal with so a little bit messy I'm trying to like cut around the camera uh, but here it is so uh, let me focus and yeah so now you're gonna have this one little uh, sheet and you're just gonna place it right into the water and so the way you're just doing this is I submerge mine completely and then I take it and I put it right here on the side and not actually dip it all the way in like that you don't want it to be completely doused but now after it's been on the side for about 10 to 15 seconds it's pretty much going to be ready to be used so when applying, you wanna make sure that you have the tweezers on the outer end of where you cut. You don't want to place the tweezers exactly on the decal because yeah, you're not gonna be able to, uh, to move it at all. So this, I just slowly move it to the side and just you know essentially slide it off. You can you know put that right over there. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do, you can use a toothpick, but be very wary of sharp pointy objects. You don't, oops, you don't want to, um, you don't want to break the decal so make sure you essentially using something that's soft and that's why q-tips are more ideal so now we want to just kind of work it uh, on the actual place that we want it to settle so and this is going to absorb a little bit of that water which is good we want to absorb a little bit of that moisture so that way we can apply the setter with no issues whatsoever so looks pretty good to me i'm kind of looking at both uh, the camera and on the side of the camera to make sure this is staying in focus but yeah that's pretty much how you are going to want to apply it and let's move on to the setter okay so now we have mr setter you are going to want to kind of like you know um, drain a little bit of the excess that's going to be on the brush uh, but once you get a little bit on there you're just going to gently apply it onto the top you don't really want to douse it in there uh, you just want to kind of just glide it right over and then let that sit I wouldn't put it on like any of the excess parts of the plastic just really you know know your target and just put it right there on the decal itself uh, but it shouldn't have any kind of negative issues I, I have yet to have anything happen to where it wrinkles or does anything crazy so this shouldn't be too much of an issue it it pretty much should allow it to seep right into the plastic and it's going to create much like a seal uh, right on top of that but regardless we're going to be using a top coat so it's, it's just going to be even more beneficial now hypothetically let's say you got this in the wrong placement uh, and this is pretty much like before you applied your setter and you want to readjust it you can do one of one of two things uh, the mr. softer that I've kind of mentioned or mr. mark softer that like I mentioned uh, you can use that I you know either use the brush or use a q-tip douse a little bit and then just kind of rub it on there and it's basically gonna soften the actual adhesive and you can kind of move it all around or you can dip this I would just say dip it a little bit in water run it over and then you can you know readjust it as necessary but over time if you constantly keep doing that it will make the decal itself very brittle and more prone to breaking uh, so I would definitely recommend you to whenever you're placing your decal try and be as precise as possible uh, don't just like place this like all the way at the bottom down here and try and work your way up you know definitely go on the mark that you're trying to ideally uh, set it in and you know just risk minimum uh, chances of breaking or destroying your actual decal 